To understand eutrophication, let's start with producers. By producers, I mean plants, algae, any organism that carries out photosynthesis. Producers all need carbon dioxide, sunlight, water and minerals like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Grass, trees, the crops we grow for food, even the tiny photosynthetic microorganisms that live in lakes and oceans need these things to survive. The more of these things you give a producer, the better they'll grow. But if you don't give them enough of everything they need, it won't matter how much of the other resources they receive, growth will be limited. If something is in short supply like this, we call it a limiting factor, and it's common for minerals to be a limiting factor for growth. Fortunately, we can top these minerals up using fertilizers. There's money to be made and a world of mouths to feed. Farmers obviously want to make sure they grow the maximum amount of product they can. So, they add fertilizers to their crops to increase production. These fertilizers are important in meeting global demand for food. But sometimes, there's a problem. The fertilizers added to farmland can get washed away by overwatering or heavy rain. When they get washed into lakes and oceans, it's bad news for a lot of species that live there. Eutrophication literally means well-nourished, because it happens when a body of water becomes enriched in dissolved nutrients. Minerals are usually a limiting factor for growth of producers in water, so when minerals from fertilizers enter the water, this is great news for the photosynthetic algae, which grow in number. Algae grow as a layer on top of the water. After a while, the algal growth becomes so extensive, it can fully cover the surface. This is where things start to go bad. Very little light can pass through the surface layer, so eventually the plants at the bottom die from a lack of sunlight. As part of their natural life cycle, algae die and are replaced by more algae. And this provides lots of organic matter for microorganisms to decompose. These microorganisms rely on aerobic respiration, meaning that in addition to the food they take in, they also require oxygen. With such an extensive supply of dead organic material as food, these microorganisms grow in number and deplete the oxygen levels in the water. Fish and other organisms living in the water also rely on this oxygen, and when it becomes depleted, it results in death and a reduction in biodiversity.